not found in Black Lives Matter. What's up, guys? You're tuning in to another episode of Tam Talks. I'm Tam, and I'm here to actually talk to you again about Paula White. If you hadn't been paying attention, Paula White today said some very, very troubling things over the pulpit about Black Lives Matter. While I don't and am not a part of the organization, I'm very much, obviously, as my shirt shows you, in support of the movement and equality and justices for not just Blacks, but for all. But in order to get there, we have to first, as Black human beings, feel like we're treated equally. Now, what did Paula say? Let's get into it. Christ like not found in my gender. It is not found in my culture. It is not found in my ethnicity. It is not found in KKK. It is not found in Antifa. And it is not found in Black Lives Matter. All which are anti-Christ and even terrorist organizations. I also want to share to you what T.D. Jakes said. Now, T.D. Jakes eloquently spoke about Black Lives, the movement. I wish Paula would have did this. You go to the house that's on fire, and right now black and brown houses are on fire, and the statement black lives matter does not mean that white lives do not matter. Absolutely does not mean that, but it does mean that these are the lives that are disproportionately on fire, not only by criminal justice, not only by police brutality, but also by the COVID virus. When you say black lives matter, it's not just about brutality. It's about education. It's about opportunities. It's about health. Uh, uh, issues. It's, it covers a whole gambit of things where we have been demoralized. It's about the high rate of deaths of our women when they have children. Uh, there's so many areas. In almost every area, it is reinforced that we don't get the same medical care, the same health care, the same education. It does make you ask the question, do we matter? Uh, do you, uh, is there anything that the Black Lives Matter movement is doing that you think is unwise? Are they getting it wrong or right most of the time? First of all, I think that, that this has gone far beyond the, the move. The organization has turned into a movement. The organization is one thing. The movement is something completely different. The slogan has taken on all over the world until you have people all over the world in Europe and Africa carrying Black Lives Matter signs. That is not all connected to the organization. Uh, and I think what has taken place is that many people have bought into the reality that they want to be a part of history that says Black Lives do matter. I appreciate that. I support that. I endorse the overall concept Black Lives Matter. Uh, in and apart from the organization and its values and what it's trying to do, I think it has taken on a life of its own. However, I don't think that we can win this battle just by protests. At some point, protests have to convert to the change of policies. And I think we're at that point right now. And we have to take, uh, we have to move away and disavow all violence. I think it's a distraction from the overall message that we're trying to make. And we need to take our violence and turn it into votes. And on every level of government, vote for the people who get and understand that we are not willing to live uh, with these abnormalities and uh, these discrepancies uh, in our care, uh, in our safety, in our well-being. Anytime you're not safe in your own home, Breonna Taylor laying in her own bed, anytime you can't go jogging, that's too much to tell us to be quiet about. We cannot be quiet about that knee on that neck. We just cannot be a quiet. Black woman, I'm highly offended and utterly discouraged with her and how she's been acting over the pulpit. I would really like to know what she meant about Black lives. Again, I support the movement. I'm Black and I want to be treated fair and equal. So, how do you feel about T.D. Jakes versus what Paula said? I really, really want to know your personal thoughts. So comment below and let's talk about it.